Hi there, welcome to Jeff's musical car in Moncton. This week I have Nick Faye, minus the deputies. <laughs> thanks uh, for coming along. Yeah, thanks so much for having me out. So uh, obviously now your first time on the East Coast, can you tell me a bit about some of your experiences in the Maritimes? Yeah, so we, uh, I've only been out here acoustically, so it was the first time with the band, which is super, super awesome. Uh, I've toured up to St. John's and back a couple times, and uh, yeah, so, pumped to uh to get to be back here with the band this time and we always have such a great time like the people are all super super nice and mm -hmm. and uh, the music scene out here is like so great some of the best bands in canada coming out of uh, new brunswick and charlottetown and and uh, nova scotia for sure nice so yeah. uh hailing from regina area i, I see your friends with a few of my previous guests <laughs> colter wall danny o can you tell me a bit about how uh you met those guys? Yeah, so uh, Danny, well, like Regina's music scene is is small, but there's a lot of great uh, great artists. And so Danny, just, just from being in Regina and playing around, and, and we both had albums coming out the same time in 2014. So we went out on the road. Um, yeah, we hung out in Moncton for a few days. That was fun. Mm -hmm. I think we played Plan B that time. And then uh, and then Coulter actually toured with with Danny, just through Danny and, and mutual friends, uh, we played some tour dates with Coulter 2016. So yeah, nice. that's great, Good guys. Great music. Yeah, and, for sure. Uh, Danny's got a new album coming out soon. So and good diversity too, because I mean, your style isn't really um, direct fit with either of those, but it's kind of cool that you get to play um, shows with people with a lot of different diverse uh, genres. Yeah, I think that might just be like like a lot of us grew up playing in like the punk music scene where it wasn't uncommon to have like a metal band a punk band yeah, and an acoustic act right it's like you're playing these hip-hop whatever yeah it doesn't matter right small smaller towns it's not like those those scenes aren't very siloed they're very much interconnected and you'll have people playing in in each of the different uh each of the different scenes yeah yeah all right so tell me a bit about the song you're gonna play for me today yeah sure so this song is called told you it's on our new album uh the album's called stumbling distance mm -hmm. we recorded it with uh michael vojavoda who used to be in real statics and uh recorded produced uh gordon by a bare naked ladies and emilia curran and nice. Buffy saint marie and and big fans of a lot of his uh his work that he's produced so we are really fortunate to get a chance to to uh, lay down some songs with him and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's just one of the, the singles I guess from from the album All right, let's hear the uh, acoustic just mu musical car rendition right on <laughs> <clears throat> I'm your other man When you fall When you fall But I've never held your hand Through it all Through it all When you're calling me back I can't get away Always calling me back oh. When he left you on those steps When you called When you called I was trying to get some rest when I picked you up and I drove you But you're calling me back I can't get away Always calling me back When I told you that I loved you on that night I told you that I loved you on that night I, oh, I told you that I loved you on that night But I was feeling bold the night he left you on the ground So I stepped up and I felt your fiery gaze and I laid you down But I was thinking I 
call you up and talk a while I was thinking now could swing on by and spend the night when you're calling me there I can't get away Oh, he's calling me back When I told you that I loved you on that night I told you that I loved you on that night Oh, I told you that I loved you on that night Oh, 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 oh. Love it. Good right job. On. You got a little tour of Main Street. Uh, yeah, I know. It's cool. I saw the new arena, too. Yeah. I, I had no idea until uh, I think I, I don't know, I get bored and I like uh, I like looking up like junior hockey and like mm -hmm. arenas throughout the world. And uh, yeah, I, was, I saw that they were building a new one. It looks really nice. Yeah, Moncton Wildcats. That'll yeah. be the new home. Yeah, that's awesome. I have to get a, another. Well, they just hosted the Memorial Cup maybe. Uh, Ten years ago. Ten years ago, yeah. 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 Well, I'll feel like another one soon. That's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. You're a big sports fan. When you're on the road, do you try to uh, hit up some some sports games? Wherever yeah, you're at? totally. Sometimes on tour, it's really hard. Um, yeah, because you're playing at night. Yeah, but. yeah. But I I sing the anthem at like Regina Pat's games sometimes, mm -hmm. and uh, my dad's been going. He has like season tickets for the Riders, so so uh, I've been going to the games there a long time but I think on the way back we might stop and hit a baseball game in like Chicago and Milwaukee because that'd we, uh, be sweet yeah it's a lot quicker to get back to uh, to the prairies to Saskatchewan if you just cut through the states so mm -hmm. um, yeah it's always fun just to kind of like see what's up and, and I don't know catch some games I've been to a Winnipeg Gold Eyes game before that was really fun so cool yeah when time allows it's a good time yeah I know every like kind of city and town has their like kind of quirks is, is there something you've come across in like a one tour like a, a landmark or something that you just like kind of laugh at when you think back or something that really wowed you oh man there's always so much uh, I don't know if it's still there but there used to be this gas station in Quebec mm -hmm. and uh, it had like a bunch of dinosaur stat like oh I know exactly the Madrid? what you mean. Like, yeah, yeah 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 I think I don't know if it's still there I was trying I was really sleepy this time when we passed it so on the way back west I might keep an eye open because it's just the most random place I know it's like a dinosaur theme park like yeah. at a gas station just... and like the dinosaurs are kind of like half dilapidated so like <laughs> the necks are all weird and like I know and there's I think there's like some metal structures and maybe like a homemade monster truck or monster yeah like, yeah it's just like a very odd place it so is I love that I think there's a big potato somewhere near Fredericton <laughs> yeah yeah I like that place uh, uh, world's largest axe by um, Nakawick. I haven't been there. I, I don't yeah, recall that. Know, it was like uh, the world's, like we have the world's largest lobster in Chiyak. Yeah. Like things like that are like so interesting to me and other people are like, they just hate those like touristy things. But Well, you got to come to so Saskatchewan because literally every single town, it was like, what do we do to boost tourism? Big Let's build a giant Santa. Yeah. And they have like a Santa Claus fest or like the biggest oil can or the biggest like. The, Whatever. Yeah. Anything. Like small town Saskatchewan, there's so many of them and I, I love, I love, uh, seeking them out when I'm on the road and it's no different here <laughs> yeah. in, uh, on the east coast so yeah, yeah. it's a good times so, that's great yeah. well uh, thanks so much for doing this and uh, best of luck on the rest of your tours well thanks so much uh, shout out to Jeff's musical car and uh, yeah thanks for having me no in, problem. in the car <laughs> doing it up doing it up so, in so that's, the wildcats so that's it for this one <laughs> thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time yeah awesome cheers <laughs>